Welcome to the OVA vlog. Today we are continuing our conversation about how you know when you're ready to have kids. And we're lucky to have our guest Abby, who is also working with OVA, um, to talk about how she knew she was ready uh, to have kids when she had her daughter Evelyn, who is actually two right now. So welcome Abby. Thanks, I'm excited to be here. Um, so how, when you think back to two, two years ago, how did you, actually more than that, two years and nine months ago, uh, how did you know you were ready to ha have your first child? I think there were a few things that just felt like, okay, don't wait any longer. Okay. Um, so I was just shy of my 34th birthday when I had Evelyn. Um, and so there's that whole, you know, you get into your 30s yeah. and, and you may have no problems and you may find out that you have lots of issues and you kind of don't know until you start trying for baby. So yeah. I think that was one of the things where it was like, okay, yeah, that's, it's time. It's but also my parents are older, so they didn't, um, I mean, I guess for now, <laughs> It's kind of normal, but they were in their late 30s when they had me and my siblings, um, which makes them in their 70s now. And I just really wanted them to be able to spend a lot of time um, with my kids. Yeah. And um, I had my brother's two kids are four and six. Okay. And so that was another thing that mm -hmm. I didn't want a too big of a gap because I really wanted them to have cousins um, to yeah, yeah to have a good relationship. So I think that was one of the big factors that just said, get going. <laughs> yes. But, um, you know, on a much more personal level, I felt like my relationship with my husband, Jamie, um, was in a really good place. So he uh, has struggled with alcoholism for a number of years. He's been sober for three and a half. Um, yeah, so it's amazing. Um, so proud of him. Awesome. Um, but... You know, so he, he went to treatment once and then relapsed and then went to treatment again. Um, and so the second time was really, you know, that's the three and a half years. And I feel like it really stuck. But there was a lot of time, um, you know, in that relapse when, you know, this is common with addicts and alcoholics that, you know, they're just going to, they're going to do whatever they need to. Um, and that really brings up a lot of trust issues. And so, um, so there was a time when, when it was really rough for yeah, us, but like, I'm not going to have kids right now. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, um, but then, um, just going through the program, shout out to Hazelden, which is amazing. Um, you know, and just following the 12 steps and really there's, you know, there's a lot about, um, you know, just facing all of the things you've done and, um, making apologies and really just a lot of communication uh, about what's going on. And so I think that with the um, sort of getting over what had happened in the past was really big. Yeah. And um, also just opening up communication about what's going on now has made us a lot stronger as a couple and made me feel like we can do this Damn because it. yeah. it's a really... Um, it is a team effort. Yeah. Um, there's a lot going on, and I think, um, you know, some people are like, maybe a baby will make our relationship better, and um, it's it's not a good idea. <laughs> I would say because there's just so many times when you're kind of at your worst, yeah. and you have to be able. I think, you know, you each have to be in a place where you can forgive the person for snapping at you, and you don't just build up more resentments. Yeah. Um, because it does sometimes get. Just raw and you know yeah. you're not just it's hard to be on your nicest behavior when you're yeah. totally sleep deprived and everything so it's really going you felt like going into the pregnancy that we are we've worked through things we have the communication we have the ability to forgive and move on we are we are a team going into this exactly yeah. and I think there was just really a sense of like relief and joy coming out of yes. like this sort of freedom and um and recovery so yeah. it was like yeah we're gonna bring another person into the world and love that person yeah thank you so much for sharing that yeah you're welcome 
Um, Definitely, um, this is uh, really a powerful story and um, experience, and um, there's a lot to think about in having a first child, and everyone's experiences are different, and um, we'd love to hear about how you knew you were ready to have kids, or if you have um, similar experiences, we'd love to hear from you. So um, thank you so much, and thank you, Abby, for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank <laughs> you.